Morning everyone, we begin with breaking news from overnight. Thousands are mourning the death of beloved Leah Chase of Dookie Chase's restaurant. The Chase family released a statement on her passing last night saying she died surrounded by those she loved. Mrs. Chase was a matriarch, an entrepreneur, a civil rights activist. She was 96 years old. Leah spearheaded the Dookie Chase restaurant back in 2016 when her husband, Edgar Dookie Chase II, passed away. Here's a look back at how the restaurant became what it is today with the help of the Queen of Creole Cuisine. Leah Chase was known all over the world as the Queen of Creole Cuisine, and this was her palace, Dookie Chase Restaurant in Treme. The beloved chef reigned over the kitchen of this Orleans Avenue landmark for more than 70 years. And even well past the age of 90, there was no place she would rather be than in this kitchen. If I wouldn't come in this kitchen every day, I, don't, I think I would be miserable, and I would be miserable. And my children can't, why not just stay home? Nope. I don't want to stay home. I want to do what I do. Miss Leah, as nearly everyone called her, was known for telling it like it is. And what a story she had to tell. She was born on 12th night, 1923, in Madisonville. Young Leah Lang was one of 11 children. She came to New Orleans to attend Catholic school, St. Mary's Academy. Her early jobs included working as a waitress in the French Quarter, but little did she know food would be her calling. In 1940. Amazing. After getting word of her passing, there was an outpour of kind words and condolences on social media. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell tweeted, Leah Chase was a legend, an icon, and an inspiration. It is impossible to overstate what she meant to our city and to our community. Former New Orleans Mayor Mark Morial also tweeted, he wrote, legendary chef, restaurateur, civil rights activist, and great New Orleanian. May she rest in peace. Representative Cedric Richmond said, New Orleans has suffered a great loss with the passing of Leah Chase. Leah's impact to New Orleans is immeasurable. She broke barriers as a leading chef and champion of the civil rights movement. Kind words are also coming from her hometown of St. Tammany Parish. The tweet reads, we mourn her loss and extend our sympathies to her family. What an amazing legacy she leaves. She was born here in St. Tammany Parish in Madisonville. She's a recipient of the Native Son Award in 2015. We're going to switch gears a little bit. Meteorologist Chris Franklin is here. Chris, I did feel a little bit confused this morning. I walked That's outside. Right. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you for coming for my neck already. <laughs> uh, but there was actually a summer breeze, like Isley Brothers. The song, you know, oh, yeah. makes me feel fine. Yeah. I don't oh, know the rest. You were gonna, oh, I don't you, know the rest. That's of all you have for That's me? all I got for you this morning. Thought you were going to sing it. I was, but then I was like, I forgot the tune real quickly. So, I'll come. I'll come back when we do another weather segment. I appreciate it. Thank you. You'll have the whole song that time, or another song. Another song. Okay. <laughs> Well, there's so many to choose from. A lot. But yeah, there was a little bit of a breeze outside this mm. morning from kind of leftover storms. It's going to be another hot one today. But uh, you know what? It's June 2nd. What did you expect? Right. We're also watching the Chris. Everyone knows Leah Chase for her skills in her Treme kitchen. Here are a few facts about the Trailblazer that took a little bit of digging. In an interview with Go Nola, she opened up about her personal life. Now, some things that might even surprise you, Mrs. Chase was asked what first brought her to New Orleans. Her response was that she, guess what, needed a job. And yes, she got a job cooking. She didn't learn how to boil water, get this, until she was 14 years old. She was also asked what was her favorite neighborhood bar, and she named Snug Harbor because of the music. Mrs. Chase also said Frenchman Street was her favorite place to catch a live performance. And we'll be following the life of Leah Chase throughout the day today. Be sure to keep up with us right here on Channel 4, WUPL, and on our social media pages, and of course our website, WWLTV.com. I look now at a few stories we're following this morning. A man is recovering after he was shot in New Orleans East. It happened near Gawain and Chef Mature Highway. New Orleans police say he was shot in the leg. Right now, we do not know a motive. The New Orleans Police Department is investigating. The man shot and injured by a state trooper as he drove the wrong way on Bourbon Street has been arrested. State police identified 42-year-old Eric Cullender as the man who was shot in the stomach after he did not listen to troopers to try to stop his car near the 200 block of Bourbon Street on Thursday. Cullender was in stable condition after being shot. He now faces one count of resisting an officer and several other charges.
A curfew will be reinforced for kids 16 years old and younger tomorrow in Orleans Parish. This is the city's plan to cut back on juvenile crime. The curfew hours begin Monday and will end August 31st, just in time for the kids to go back to school. The curfew hours are Monday through Thursday from 9 p.m. until 6 in the morning and Friday through Sunday from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. If kids 16 and under are caught violating curfew, parents, you're going to be in trouble because those penalties will be applied to you all. If you have any questions about the curfew, call 584-1111. New drone video shows just how high the water is along the Arkansas River at the Big Dam Bridge in Little Rock. And the water levels will get even higher as the river is expected to crest over the next few days. Already, homes and businesses on both sides of the river have been affected, and many residents are now working to put sandbags around their homes. One Arkansas senator said it's sad to see his hometown consumed by floodwaters. As your viewers can see behind us, the water here is like nothing I've ever seen living here almost my entire life, and it's already flooded so many businesses, and unfortunately, I think it's going to reach some homes as well. Many towns are still asking for volunteers to fill and deliver sandbags to homes around the area, but some are worried that the water may get so high that the sandbags won't help. We're going to, of course, keep an eye on any developments in the Arkansas River because it's one of the many rivers that flows into the Mississippi. Well, right now we're joined with meteorologist weather expert Chris Franklin and Chris, of course, it's hot outside, but of course, we're also right. what's supposed to happen with some organza spillway it's supposed to open today, but the army said we're going to fall back a little bit. They're going to go on Thursday yes. because the crest is still delayed and the forecasted crest at Morganza is still expected 60 feet yeah. at the end of the week, so they're not changing their plans at the moment. Now, there are things that could still alter those plans, right. but at the moment, yes, it looks like they're going to have to open Morganza up. And, and then again, kind of a slow opening. As the Corps has already said, they do not want to have to open it because of the high levels in the Atchafalaya, and they know that just kind of exacerbates that problem. So we have more coming up in the next half hour of the Eyewitness Morning News, the latest on the Virginia Beach shooting that left 12 dead. Plus more on the New Orleans icon, Leah Chase, We'll have more when we come back. If I wouldn't come in this kitchen every day, I don't I think I would be miserable and I would be miserable. And my children can't why not just stay home? Nope. I don't want to stay home. I want to do what I do. The restaurateur, mother, and civil rights trailblazer Ms. Leah Chase passed away overnight. Her family released a statement saying, quote, why we mourn her loss. We celebrated her remarkable life and cherished the life lessons she taught us. Her spirit captured the hearts of so many others. Big names grabbed their seat at her table at Dookie Chase's, from President Obama to Ray Charles. She also touched the hearts of so many people here locally. Representative Cedric Richmond tweeted this morning saying New Orleans and the entire state of Louisiana has suffered a great loss with the passing of world renowned chef Mrs. Leah Chase. As the heart and soul of New Orleans, Mayor Latoya Cantrell also wrote in, port, in part, she was a culture bearer in the truest sense. We are poorer for her loss and richer for having known and having loved her. She will be badly missed. And a New Orleans actor, Wendell Pierce, tweeted, Miss Leah Chase, queen of Creole cuisine, rest in peace. A restaurateur, civil rights leader, and well-renowned chef. Her restaurant, Dookie Chase, is where the civil rights movement strategy was continuously coordinated. The destination of the Freedom Riders, creation of the SCLC, an American icon. Well, back in the day, Dookie Chase's wasn't just a restaurant. It was one of the only fine dining restaurants owned by an African-American woman. Here's a look back at how it became what it is today. Leah Chase was known. And that was Morning Anchor WWL here. Sheba Turk giving a piece about Leah Chase's life. I've never been to the restaurant Dickie Chase, but of course I've heard the food over there very good. I'm ashamed to say I have not been over there either. But it's okay, we're going to maybe work our way maybe, over there. Maybe we'll get over there now. And beat the heat since it's going to be hot today. It is going to be hot today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be another hot kind of stretch going into the early part of next week, tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday, okay. we may get more mid 90s. Any good news coming, man? Like, people we've are going to be very upset. Well, all right, all right. We've got a better chance of rain at the end of the week, so that will help cool things cool. off. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And we're not worrying about anything in the tropics. There we go. That's how you start us off. Oh, I should have said that first. Yes, lead with that. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm learning. I'm okay. learning, Duke. I'm learning. <laughs> Invest 90. Police say 40 year old Doreen Craddock, who had been employed for 15 years at Virginia Beach's public utility, is the suspect. Well, after the break, we're heading to the kitchen. New Orleans to tend to, New Orleans, I should say, tend to eat anything that's well seasoned. So, Chef Kevin Belton sits down with the chef who shares, well, his creation. We'll be right back. It is good to see so many people just showing and sharing their condolences yeah. for a beloved icon here in the city of New Orleans, Leah Chase, who, of course, who passed away overnight. And we were just talking that we've never been. I know. I feel bad I about it. I really that. do feel bad about it, but yeah. maybe I just go and see today because I'm now pretty sure. Now we need sure. to go. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be out the door at the restaurant. Yeah, it's going to be away from it's gonna be packed today. Yeah, yeah. But of course, we also want to stay cool because it's going to be hot. Yeah, you might need a bottle of water if you're going to be headed out. Sunscreen as well. A lot of sunshine today. Uh, okay. You're not happy about that? I mean, sunscreen, I have to like take an extra layer. I have to put lotion to make sure I'm not ashy. <laughs> then I got to put sunscreen on to make sure I don't burn from the sun. And it's just a lot. It's summertime. Did you, did you not hear our producer? Uh, she'll be all right. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Poor Whitney. You, you'll be fine, Whitney. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Poor Duke. He just, there's so many things that he has to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Lotions and whatnot. We have a little haze.